group worked on a, a new funding model for tech in Africa. So um, our problematic was to find a, a solution that will provide um, innovators in edtech access to financing. And um, okay, so I think I just go on while we wait for the slides. Um, so the challenges that we 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 our reflections were around the challenges uh, tech. Um, ed tech innovators face, um, wh why don't they get access to these resources? Why, do, why aren't their, their businesses sustainable? And why do they fail after three years of existence? Um, and we, we actually realized that um, they, they do have products. They do have products that they propose to the market, but yet they cannot sustain. So the issues that we realized was the fact that um, these um, young innovators, they actually can't communicate properly what they can make financially to investors. They don't, so they don't, they can't get, acquire the capital to sustain their businesses in the long run. And secondly, investors have money to invest, but yet they don't know where to invest this money. And the reason is because the, um, innovators cannot effectively communicate to the investors how they could permit them create value for their investments. Um, so we decided to, to create um, a, a tool. And I'm so honored that this tool was, called, was named after me. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so honored. Um, our, our tool is called Nelly, the African EdTech Accelerator. This accelerator provides a tool for EdTech innovators to have access to a support system that will permit them to be um, um, investment ready for investors. Uh, the tool actually um, has three components. We provide a, um, a financial model that will permit the young innovators to calculate their, their cash stream, their cash flow, what amount of profits they're making, when will they break even, um, what is their sales, um, this, the selling price, and what profit would the, the investors make? Okay, sorry about the profit, but what, um, um, return on investments these investors will make if they invest their money into their businesses. So I find the financial model, so we are leveraging on the, the, um, the use, the, the wide use of mobile phones in Africa. Um, so we're creating a web app, a web app that will permit ed tech innovators to easily calculate their cash flow. So um, it's going to be an easy fund platform where they could input the basic information. The idea is they don't actually know how to go through the process of creating these cash flows to, to prove to the investors that their businesses are going to make money. So we created this. This is how it's going to look like. It permits you to get feedback on the information to input. And with this feedback, you know what to do to, to make your, your business um, um, more viable for investments. And the next one is creating a platform of advisors. The platform of advisors will constitute the um, Africa for Tech Network. And from this network, we will pair our um, investors with champions. And the champions will go through a process to develop the ideas and their businesses and their financial plans. Um, and um, this process will permit them to meet certain criteria that are worthy for their projects to, to be invested in. And they're going to leverage from the mentor community we're going to provide. And the last one is actually providing that uh, financial network which will permit us get the resources to invest. We've done the work, we've given them the financial model to prove that their solutions will work and will make money. We've provided them with the support so they could better present a good pitch. And now we're providing them the platform where they could 
get the money. It's, um, the fund will be uh, made up of the Africa for Third Fund, so we're hoping to leverage on investors here to plow their money in that, and other investors as well. Um, so they will go through the process, they're going to pitch to the investors, and um, based on the criteria that these investors think um, they want to invest their money in, looking also at the, the, the philosophy, their philosophy in education, they would invest in these businesses. So um, our solution actually proposes an innovative way to, to fund edtech solutions in Africa, which usually are considered as um, solutions which are not profitable because they rely mostly on funding and grants. And we believe that by implementing these in Africa, we shall help many um, um, edtech innovators to accelerate in their businesses and become effectively sustainable. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you. So for everyone who's interested after